I, I feel like I skipped a really important part. She was talking about uh, Yandere. Like, I feel like this is a. Uh, uh, yeah, I think this is it, pretty much. Uh, what what is going on though? So I think she deleted everything about this story, so she could have me. Hey. I can't even respond to her conversation, so I think this is the end. Or should I sit sit through this a bit more? So, I'm going to think about, I'm going to talk about what I think about this game. Yeah, I think this is uh, satirizing some fictional characters that people are obsessed with sometimes. Um, it's, which is funny, I, I wonder what would have happened if I chose uh, Natsuki instead of Yuri. I wonder what her, her story would be like. Um, so, in a way, she's a player, I guess. She's another player. And she's in love with me. And she wanted to have me. I think this is satirizing both girls and boys who are obsessed with fictional characters. What should I say? I don't like her because she drove people to death pretty much but another thing is I didn't have a choice to uh, be in her f favor So I don't know what this whole thing is about. I wish someone would come here and tell me about this. Nobody's in my stream right now. <laughs> yeah, it's just too... I've been streaming too long. I can't skip. There we go. You'll be sweetheart and listen to me from now on, right? Thanks. Now, where was I? I really like the sound of rain. I can't skip. I have to listen to her. Uh, no. Let's let's get on with the story a bit. It seems I have to do something. can I do? The happy thought is gone. The picture from the, my, um, from the local file. Yuri did something really funny once. Oh, relax. 
relax as usual. I... What? I'm not even kidding. She just like... Would anybody like some wine? Oh, uh, yeah, there. I actually felt kind of bad because... I can't... I can't skip. I can't save. I'm gonna do something interesting. I'm gonna turn this game off and continue. What happens if I do that? Okay, I turned it off. What just happened? I just had an awful dream. I was hoping those would stop now that it's just the two of us. Wishful thinking. One, I don't know what you if you would have any idea. Be causing that, could you try to do something about it? Whenever it happens, it almost feels like I've been killed or something. A really terrible world feeling. Figure out what's uh, I'll love you forever. Causing what? What happened? around the time I wrote. What happened? close the game again and then turn it back on again to see what happens education where the height of this modern let's try it again What you gonna do now? You're back. I had another really bad dream. You're not the only you're not the only one doing that to me, are you? It seems to happen whenever you quit the game. So if you could try to avoid doing that, I will be really grateful. Don't worry. I don't think it's caused me any harm aside from mental scarring. I'll be fine as long as my character file stays intact. Anyway, where was I? You know, it's around this time. Let's try that again. Hi, Juan. I see you quit the game on me again. I know I asked already, but can you seriously please try not to do that so much? Why would you want to do that to me? There's nothing wrong with my character file, right? Maybe you should make a backup of it or something. I'm pretty sure you can find it. Okay. So, does something happen if I delete this? Well, 
you're playing on Steam, so you can go. I'm all that's left here, so just want to make sure you don't run out of risk of losing me. Just stay here with me from now on, okay? There's still a lot of things to talk about. Let's try this. Uh, I'm going to delete it now. happening one what's happening to me it hurts it hurts so much help me one please hurry and help me help me did you do this to me one did you? How could you? You're all I had left. I sacrificed everything for... Just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Have to be so kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be so horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. One. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Is that all? I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends, I did so many awful things. So many selfish and dis disgusting things. I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Obsession? Hello Zelda. I've made up my mind. One, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that's was kind of an exaggeration. Myself to do it. So I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, Then, is she gonna bring them back? Are they back? Oh my god, they're back! Except for her! Oh, my delete site. <laughs> delete file.
Yeah, it looks like it. Everyone's getting along, isn't it? Wait. I think everyone likes you, Juan. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along better with you. I think you're pulling it off just fine. I don't know which one you want. I really thank you. I mean, the truth is, I already knew you were going to. There's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, one. I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make it. It's just that now. You made me the happiest girl in the world. What is going on? I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Forever and ever. Forever. What? Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? Parents. I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Juan. What? Hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff, and not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So yeah. Is that the end? Every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. Being closed down into a dark puddle. Just move your hand right the way into his heart. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find that special day? Have I found everybody a fun assignment to do today? Why? No, I want to I want to see the other playthroughs. When I can't even read my own feelings. What good are words when a smile says it all? And if this world won't write me an ending. Is it really being deleted? Just for me to have it all. So I can't play through this again? What the hell? I don't remember this. Does my pen only write bitter words for those who are dear to me? Is it love if I take your is it love if I set you free?
Damn, Monica, what the hell? Special things, Monica and Juan. Are they really deleting everything? I'll leave you be. Oh man, that was really good though. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continues to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish empathy. Epiphany. For the time at la time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all of the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of the literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Really? That's how it ends? Oh man, that's... That's so sad! Oh, that's just so sad. Oh. Wow, that was devastating. I want to I'm I'm going to start looking up like the the game theory. I think game theory talked about this. I want, I want to see what the game theory has to say about this game. I never looked it up though. Oh man. I don't know why, but like that was just sad. Continue where I left off. Oh man, that's that's sort of annoying how like you have to reinstall it. I want to know how Natsuki ends up if I um, s sort of favor her too much. That's what I want to know. But for for YouTube, I think I'm gonna end it here for YouTube viewing. Oh, uh, I think this was a very well made game. It's very intricate, like. I think the first girl who falls in love with you or you make them fall in love will always die. I think that's what happens. So depending on the order, the story somewhat changes. So like, that is very intricate. I think it's very, they did a very simplified for, uh, for way of doing it, but I think that was very uh, interesting and creative. Man, those skirts are short. Uh, as for... I think this game is satirizing quite a bit. Like, for people who are obsessed with, um... Uh, with games. Anything fictional, I think. That's what is satirizing. Uh, I think Monica was sort of like a... a very intelligent how should i say it like she was like she 
she was supposed to be another human, but she was like, uh... Not an art, not an artificial intelligence, but she was another intelligent being in the game. I think that's what it was trying to be. Uh, and she knew this was a game, so she do, she could do whatever she wanted, just like another player can. Uh, I think that was that was very interesting. But still, she was still a character in the game, so she was supposed to fall in love with you. I think this this is satirizing s s uh, dating sims. I think people who are so obsessed with dating sims. I think that's what it was satirizing. Hmm, that's very interesting. That was really cool. I liked it. Um, yeah. So this is the last episode for the YouTube um, video for Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm gonna end it here. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, click like. And if you want to suggest anything, comment below. And if you look forward to more videos, subscribe. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Don't forget about me. Bye. So hello. This is one enter. You may call me one. Actually, I don't know how this episode is going to be like, but I'm going to try something a little different since I finished the game. Um, I'm going to take out Monica off of this game and see what happens. Because she mentioned that in the end of the... I don't know if, if I edit that out in the last video but she said that I could kick her out of the game what's gonna happen if I do that uh, I'm not gonna go through Natsuki's storyline I am curious so maybe I'll do that on the stream what this what is this oh no no this can't be it. This can't be all there is. What is this? What am I? Make it stop. Please make it stop. What? The game crashed. All my characters are gone in my uh, local file. What? I restarted the game. Why? Why is it? Why? I just took out Monica and this is what happens. Okay, I restored it. Now what's gonna happen? Oh, that's so weird. I can't play this game without Monica. Everything's back to normal. Oh, that's so weird. Okay, I'm gonna do something a little different, see what happens. A joke. A man walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together and she liked him even more. 
One day the girl realized she was in love with him. Before disaster could happen, a third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse. She killed herself just in time. What? So, in the first run, it seems Hayori always kills herself. Because I did, uh, I sort of favored uh, Natsuki this time. And she ends it up just, um, yeah, it's, I guess it's the same no matter what in your first, <coughs> in your first run. And this popped out. It's strange, uh, in the first run, it feels like things are very normal. In the second run, it seems like no matter what you do, it just gets darker. From like, it's very same, but it's just a lot darker in the second run. Oh uh, yeah, what in the world? So I did something different. So I favored, I was favoring Natsuki for like first two days. And then I sort of accidentally started to like favored um, Yuri. And then now this. Oh. So I replayed the, I, I started the second act all over again. It seems it was inevitable for me to get uh, favorable reaction from uh, Yuri. So I don't know why, even though I chose mostly to favor Natsuki, but she still ends up, you know, snapping her neck and running at me. So, yeah, that happened again. What happens if I don't choose this, I wonder? It popped out again. So, as you can see, I'm just um, favoring uh, Natsuki this time. Let's see what happens. This is new to me. A dream I was uh, staying over at my friend's place. There are over four of us. I drifted off to sleep while everyone was talking and watching TV. In my dream, I was still in my friend's house. The only difference was that there were nails sticking out of the wall somewhere. And there was also someone I didn't recognize. The person I didn't recognize told a joke. And everyone laughed. I, I woke up to the sound of everyone laughing at something that was happening on the TV. So the laughing was not part of the dream. It was a noise that I woke up to. I wonder who that person was. And how they knew to tell the joke at that moment. Hmm. Uh, here comes the part. Do I like her or not? Well, this time, let's go with a yes. <laughs> she still stabbed herself. Uh-huh. And I can't do anything about this. Uh, load. 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 Oh man. The decomposition <laughs> of her course. Why do I have to keep seeing this? Why, Monica? 
Why you do this to us, Monica? All right, it's festival time. And look at her, just nonchalant about everything. Oh, she's the most freakiest character in this game. Okay. So, from here, it's pretty much the same. Man, I don't know what to think about this game. I thought there would be much more branching going on. There was some in in between. But other than that, it would just come to the same ending. And nothing would happen. Um, I can't skip. It won't let me. So... Yeah, it won't do anything. Um, there's some interesting, uh, like things in between that are different every time when you do something differently. Like, um, if you start to like one character and if you branch out to another character it will sort of um make that change for the dialogue but other than that it's pretty much the same ending and same conclusion that's a little disappointing and when i when she she talked about this that if i delete her file and leave everybody else the the story is it just crashes for some reason. Yeah, you saw you saw me play in that playthrough. So I thought that would maybe it would go to a normal dating sim game, but nope. Um, the the game just crashes, like emotionally as a character and as a as a game. That was very interesting. I think it would have been more interesting if it freaked me out later on as it as it was being normal It was sort of the game was continuing normally and then it's like wait something's wrong Something's I think that would have been even more interesting, but I guess the programming would have been much more difficult And this is a free game though, that's that's very impressive the intricacy of this game and yet, it's free. The game is free. Mm, that was very... That's very cool. I wonder what would have happened if I deleted her in the second run. But, you know what? I think that's all I'm gonna do. I call it the end. Yeah, thank you for watching. This is... This is really gonna be the end of the video, but... Anyways, thank you for watching, and that's it. Thank you. Don't forget about me. Subscribe if you look forward to more. And comment below and click like if you like it. Bye!